In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix shipping not available for selected address on Shopify. Now, this is a very common problem. A lot of people face this problem on Shopify. I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can fix this. This is going to be a quick video. Like, by the way, most of the time when this error message happens, it typically means that the product in cart are having terrible making a clear path to the shipping rate. Like, this is just one of the reasons uh, why this problem, why you have this problem, okay? Also, like, my, my first, like, tip is, like, to ensure that the customer entered a valid address. You can also see if you are getting the same error with different addresses. Now, first thing you need to do guys to first, like I'm gonna be showing in this video four solutions on how you can fix this problem, okay? So, what, sorry, it's like it's, it's the video was uh, stopped. Okay, so the first thing you need to do guys is you wanna, first thing, you wanna just check uh, the shipping rates, okay? So you wanna click on settings at the very bottom left and you want to click on um, like shipping and delivery. Okay, so after you are on this page, like make sure like if you have like, for example, general shipping rates, if it's it says if it says here no rates for, that means your customers will face this problem because you will have to set up shipping rates. Like I said, this is just one of the reasons I'm gonna be showing you a couple of other uh, solutions that you can try to solve this problem. Now, if it says here no rates, that means you have to click on that and you want to scroll down. As you can see, you are not selling to this country because it's not any, as you can see, you want to add, you want to click on add rates, okay? And also, if you see here any error here, that means that the reason if you have something like this for me, it says you are not selling to Morocco because it's not a part of any market. Okay, so you need to, to add that in the market, as you can see. Now also, if you are selling internationally, it will you will see you will receive a message here that says you are not selling to these uh, X countries in this zone because they are not any uh, they are not a part of any market. Okay, but if there is no error and you will have to click on add rate and you want to click on here custom standard uh, like custom rate nine where you want to enter here standard and here you want to like add the, the shipping price if, if you want to offer like free shipping you can just add here free shipping and click on done and make sure you save your changes now if this is if this is not going like if if, if it doesn't fix your problem uh, what you guys need to do is you want to click on markets, okay? So you want to click on markets and click on add the market. Okay, and here you wanna name this market, for example, uh, countries I ship to something like that. And you wanna see like you wanna select all the countries that you want. So for example, I would like to, to ship to all countries in for example in uh, Europe, okay. And I also want to ship to all countries in uh, like South America, okay? So as you can see, it will select, after you click on South, for example, if you select here South America, it will select all countries in South America. Now just remember guys, the countries here that you have selected, I selected South Amer North America, I'm sorry, North America and Europe, okay? So after you are, after you are done, click on add market and click on save. Okay, so after that, what you guys need to do is uh, you want to go back to shipping and delivery and you want to click on new profile and you want to name the profile, for example, test profile customers will not say this, by the way. And you want to add the products here that you have a problem with that your customers complain about. Like, do you see this error message that you uh, like uh, this location cannot be like you ca we cannot ship to this location, the selected location like not available or something like click on done and click on save and after that what you guys need to do as you can see this is the location it says here new location which is the location i have this is the the name i named it the profile i named it new profile you want to click on it like i said and you want to select on add products you want to select all products click on done scroll down and make sure you click on add rate and you want custom standard like custom rate now we want to add here standard and this price this price the sh the the price of the shipping you want to add here the price of the shipping click on done click on save and as you can see guys after you click on that 
you can also for example click on new profile and you want to add here the profile name which is again test i'm going to add test you can also add different products guys for each for example for each location okay for each zone okay so that's exactly how you can do this okay so you can add products and if this doesn't work okay if it doesn't work then what you guys need to do next is you want to click on locations okay as you can see if you have like multiple locations here you want to click on each location and make sure you click on this fulfill online orders from this location just toggle this on if it's not enabled and click on save also you want to click on any uh, have, like multiple locations here now if this doesn't work now you want to check okay after you have done this you want to check and see if the problem is still there if it's still there then what you guys need to do open a new tab and search for contact Shopify support and there will be a real person uh, like uh, uh, Someone who is going to help you they are going to check your Shopify store and Explain to you exactly what you need to do here. You just need to ask your assistant. I have a problem with shipping on my Shopify store and then you can't like they can give you like some suggestions but if you don't like that then you guys just need to say i how, how what I, I want to talk to someone i need to talk to someone okay so after you do that they will try to redirect you or to send you uh so as you can see it says you are in line with a chat with a support advi advisor now i will be able to talk to someone right now within the t like typically wait time is five minutes it's too long but most of the time it's only going it's it, it's only going it's only going to take i would say like one minute and you will be able to talk to someone who is going to check your shopify store and see what is wrong with your shopify store now if you have any questions let me know in the comments i reply to every single comment and see you guys in the next in the next tutorial and yeah hopefully this video helped please if, you, if this video helped you please drop a like and see you guys next video